Log report supplemental 436 in the morning. It's still the 8th of February, 2023. I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore these days. I, I swear it. I just having issues over crap. Yeah, that's me going on the other computer right now. Just trying to check things out and wondering why I'm still up. I don't know why I'm still up. I feel it. I need to go back to bed and sleep my ass off at this point over here. But, you know, I've slept a few hours. I'm like, okay, now I'm energized. Now what do we do? Uh, drive myself crazy, basically. I was trying to talk about in the other video concerning about choices. No, not exactly choices. Viewpoints, survivor's guilt. The difference between doing one log and the other is how much vulgarity I can throw into it. But as for me right now, dealing with what I'm trying to deal with, holy shit, somebody tell me what the fuck's going on anymore. Because God's honest truth, I don't know. I'm still trying to deal with shit. I'm still trying to wake up I wonder why I'm awake. Why am I still dealing with what is right now? And it's hard as hell to deal with it. It's hard for me to deal with what's going on. Because I still have to look at myself in the mirror and ask myself, what the hell am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? I'm talking about something that was going to be affecting me a great deal at this point. Uh, what's affecting me right now is it is I'm asking myself questions. <sighs> I don't have any fucking answers for this shit. I mean, I saw some of the postings on there in the grief pages concerning about people still trying to analyze. One particular person that I did a screenshot on was asking the question, how can they feel guilt? I guess maybe they're guilty because they don't want to live. Now I feel like they're dying all the damn time. Not like, not like they're waiting to die. It's like, shit. I'm feeling the same damn shit on some occasions while leaving here. And sometimes I want to leave. And other times I'm asking myself, why am I doing this crap to myself? I know Dave's gone, Ma's gone. I'm still alive, I'm still dealing, I'm still breathing. But I was never fucking trained for this damn shit in the first place. I mean, yeah, I had to clean up the house and do this and do this and this and this and do this. But I was always dealing with the family. Never did it occur to me during that time I was going to be alone unless I was going to be having kind of a weird imagination shit going on in my head. That I'd be somewhere else. But the thing is, the reality shit that was going on for me is I was feeling I was part of something. And being part of something like this, get out of here, fucker. Toss him out of here. There was a safety net. There was a lifeline. There was a reality check. The reality check for me was, if I was going to be putting myself into, a, into an imaginary situation where I was putting myself in mortal danger for something, I was being an adventurer, I was being not rough, I was being Captain Horatio Hornblower of sorts. But then dealing with the reality check of, of saying, no, I'm not Horatio. I am dealing with life on its own damn terms. It's scaring me. It's pissing me off. How do I deal with this shit? I do the escapism because I don't like dealing with the reality I've got right now. And yet, I deal with the reality right now as it is because this is the safety net. This is the lifeline. What would happen if I actually did separate from fantasy and reality? Hmm? I couldn't tell myself that one. But I know that if I was still here physically, uh, somewhere else, this is life. This is real. This is reality. This is real. This is... You hear that? Me hitting and thumping on a damn table. That's reality. Dealing with the bugs right now, that's reality. 
I can't make that shit up. I cannot make this shit up. But it drives me crazy and pisses me off that I have to look at something that says survivor's guilt all over the damn thing. How do I answer that shit when I'm already having my own brand, damn problems right now as it is? Oh, good Lord, I feel like I'm going insane on this stuff. Like, I have to figure it out. I have to, I have to, I have to. And you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying to deal the best way I can. What the fuck does that any mean anymore? I don't know. What is the reality check I'm dealing with right now? I wake up in the morning, I'm dealing with stuff. And sometimes it's the same old stuff. It has to be a routine of the same old stuff. Wake up, get coffee. Fix coffee, sit down, just stare at the screen blankly. Or take the dog out for a walk, or yell at her, and you take the dog out for a walk, and be nice and kind about it, and come back again, be nice and kind to her. But the thing of it is, I know I'm changing on the inside, and sometimes it scares the hell out of me. It scares the fuck out of me. What am I saying? I did like cemeteries because it felt too damn creepy, and it felt too damn comfortable. As if eventually I'm going to be coming into places like that more and more often. People go there to see see their loved ones dead. To immortalize somehow. I wake up in the morning and I'm seeing this all the time. Immortalized. Somewhat. Not scattered in the winds. Not buried alive. Or buried period. <sighs> A constant reminder of life and death right now. I guess Ma and Dave would want me to release their ashes, so I would release the pain and not deal with them all the damn time. I'm dealing with them all the time because it's the only thing I know, and I'm clutching onto them too damn tightly as it is. And they're probably sad as hell because I am wasting time. I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have. It's not too late, John. It's not too late. When I made my life with them, and I was dealing with it, the caregiving, doing shit that I normally wouldn't do, but I did it anyway. Dealing with, seeing, uh, with people in situations I didn't want to deal with, but I had to deal with it anyway. My job. I kept thinking of it as just my job. You do the task. You, you do the deed. You do, you do, you do. You're part of something. You're connected. You're part of something huge. So I kept telling myself, I'm taking care of what I got to be taking care of. And then the next day, gone. But I'm supposed to be okay with that? Huge hole taken out of me, but I'm supposed to be fine with that. I'm supposed to be okay. I'm supposed to let go of the damn pain and just move on. Doesn't matter if I feel like the damn walking dead right now, looking to see if I'm going to be feasting on a brain or I'm going to be feasting on a heart or feasting on something. Just to feed this empty hole I still have in here. I don't even realize what the hell it is. Shit. See, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. Some days I have a hard enough time waking up in the morning and, and realizing that they're gone, they're dead. I'm alone again. My whole life, gone. I'm supposed to have a new life. It scares the fuck out of me because I'm still clinging on to the old life like crazy that I don't know how to live a fucking new life. I don't. I don't have any answers. I don't have any expectations. I don't know what people expect from me. I'm stuck and stupid. I'm fucking stuck and I'm fucking stupid, okay? I'm fucking stupid. 
lifetime of memory, of knowledge, of stuff I've learning and still trying to learn in colleges. I guess that's the only place I actually l learned how to live is in the world of academia, the academia of books, of knowledge, of, of trying to talk with people about things to learn about. But stepping out that fucking door and doing something a totally, totally different. Sometimes it challenges me and sometimes it scares the royal fuck out of me. Because it's not safe, it's not sane, it's not, it's not, it's not. I had a tear apart myself regarding a D&D &D situation that my friends want me to get into to be part of their group. It scared the fuck at me so damn badly I had to say no to them. Despite, despite the stories I had concerning about what I used to be like a long time ago, these days it's different. And they don't understand it. They're too fucking young. One guy just turned 40. The other guy is still in his 30s. We're getting there anyway. They still have youth in here. I have memories. It doesn't give me youth. I'm still stuck. I'm still tethered. It still hurts. Some mornings I can wake up without being triggered. Other mornings I'm not doing so well. This is one of those mornings. This is one of those mornings it's kicking my fucking ass. It is better to be alive even for a short time. Because you're trying to cram everything else into a memory. But if I happen to go out back into a cemetery again, I'll be feeling the peace of the dead. What it used to be. Feel the people's sorrow that they didn't experience life a little bit more. No, I'll be feeling I'm going to be joining these bastards. That's what scares the shit out of me. It's like, come, your eternal arrest awaits. Nothing creepy about it. You're just going to be feeling the eternal peace of the dead. You don't have to worry about living anymore. You don't have to worry about the damn pain anymore. You don't have to worry about anything else regarding it. Yeah, because the only thing I'll be retaining here mostly is the more is the only things I'm bringing with me is only memories, and that's it. It's the wonder sometimes I look forward to dreams because I can go into different scenarios left and right and deal with things. Sometimes they're familiar, and other times they're not familiar. But at least I'm going into a subconscious area where I can deal with things one way or another. Different landscapes that I've never been through. I've seen the regular landscapes these days, how they're changing these days. And the dream is a different altered reality on that. And sometimes I feel more comfortable and more alive in a dream than I did living right now as it is. Which is pretty fucking weird anyway. College campuses. Hospitals. Streets and shops and vendors and places I'd never been to and things I hadn't seen. Elements from different things being put together that I never realized. Maybe they're new, maybe they're not, I don't know. But I look forward more to napping and dreaming than I do about living right now as it is. So what's that telling me? I'm fool more. I 
I try to see what's going on these days. I try to understand what's going on. Under this tra death and tragedy happening right now, a lot of changes that change you automatically and then you're foobar. Or you're going to be dealing and surviving it one way or another. Shit. You can't call me crazy on this one. I'm a guy still trying to explain things. I don't have an answer. I don't. I'm trying. I just don't have it for you. I don't have it for me either. If I did, I'd be a damn guru at this point. I sure sell eight. That's damn sure.